Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about the structure of the next type of seed which is known as the monocot seed and now we are going to talk about the structure of a typical monocot seed. So, this monocot seeds we are talking about, they can be both endospermic and non-endospermic. So, what do we mean by this? They can show the presence of endosperms, mostly they are endospermic. But at times there are seeds also which are non-endospermic that means they do not have the presence of endosperm in it. Now in case of seeds like maize, the seed coat is quite membranous and it is fused with the fruit wall. So here the seed coat is membranous and they are mostly fused with the fruit wall. The endosperm here is bulky and they store food. You can see over here this is the endosperm, this is quite big, it takes a lot of space inside the seed. Now it is quite bulky and it has got reserved food material for the baby plant. So this is endosperm is bulky and they store food. Now the endosperm, the seeds, they have got a presence of outer alluron layer. So this is the endosperm we have seen. Now the endosperm is covered by a layer which is mostly proteinaceous in nature. It is made up of proteins. This layer is known as the alluron layer as you can see over here. They have presence of large cotyledonous structure which is known as a scutellum. This is the cotyledon and there is only single cotyledon hence these type of seeds are known as the monocotyledonous seeds or monocot seeds. They have the presence of plimule. See here this is the plimule. Here is the radical. Now these two structures like the plimule and the radical they are again enclosed in different type of structures. They are protected by the different structures. Now the plimule is enclosed by the structure known as the siloptile. Whereas the radical, this is enclosed by the structure which is known as the coleoriza. So these are the enclosed by siloptile and the radical is enclosed by coleoriza. So in this video, we have talked about the typical structure of a monocot seed. I hope you have understood and like this video. Thank you.